Hello everyone and welcome inside the CIF. I'm your host Richard Tiemann and this is your Game of the Week preview for week number 9 of the 2021 CIF season. Week 9 features a rivalry renewed as the Wichita Force will take on the Dodge City Law for the second time this season. The first time these two teams met was back in week 6 when Dodge City was able to go into Wichita and get the win 43-34. But a lot has changed since then. Wichita is coming off of its second straight win, a win on the road over a tough Omaha team nonetheless, and will be looking to return the favor when they visit Dodge City this Sunday. Dodge City, on the other hand, last played Salina in a brutal loss to the Liberty before going into their bye week, but now they should feel refreshed and ready to take on a red-hot Wichita Force team. But before we get too far into the preview, let's look back at Week 8, which featured the Salina Liberty taking on the Sioux City Bandits. Final score there, Salina keeps its undefeated streak going with a 51-40 victory. However, it did come at a cost, and myself and the rest of the CIF would like to wish quarterback Tyree Adams and lineman Josh Hughes a speedy recovery. But Salina, way to have a next man up mentality and overcome the odds to get yet another W. They are guaranteed a winning record this season in the CIF. And then we had the game of the week, which featured the Wichita Force in the slaughterhouse to take on the Omaha Beef. Final score, 41-32. Wichita overcoming its own adversity in that game as well. So this next one should be a great matchup, especially considering it is another CIF rivalry. So joining me today, I have defensive back Juwan Juju Ofray of the Wichita Force and center for the Dodge City Law, Braylon Hyder. So let's go ahead and preview the Week 9 Game of the Week. First up, representing the away team, he is the defensive back for the Red Hot Wichita Force. Juwan Juju Ofray, how you doing, man? I'm doing fine. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. I really appreciate you uh, taking the time. And um, Juju, like Juju Smith-Schuster, is that the nickname that you share? Or who had it first? I had it first. Uh, <laughs> uh, growing up, um, it was just a childhood name that everybody called me, Juju, Juju. So, I mean, that's just the name that stuck with me. See, and I feel like for a defensive back, and you are from Oklahoma State University, I feel like for a defensive back, being a ball hawk or kind of uh, that bird-like mentality, uh, Ofre, Osprey, you know, you could have yes, kind yeah. of a, a fun nickname <laughs> like with like that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. It's my first time here now, and I really like that. <laughs> you guys have a big matchup coming up with uh, a rivalry renewed in state rival Dodge City Law. But before we get too far into that, uh, props, you guys have rattled off two in a row. Not easy to do. You guys came into Omaha and handed the beef their first loss in two games. And so now you guys are on a streak of your own. How are you feeling overall? Honestly, it feels good. Um, coming from what we started, um, you know, the underdogs, that's why I have this shirt on, underrated. Uh, you know, uh, everybody counted us out in the beginning because we had in-house issues. That was go, you know, eventually, you know, overcome. And me being the captain that I am, I turn everybody focus on football and football only. Like, let's do what we come here for. We come here to play football and win. So let's fight through adversity and let's just keep going. I give a shout out to my team for that. Seeing you guys up close and personal, definitely an experience. Um, are you guys loving the momentum you have right now? Absolutely. Um, it's momentum that we already knew we had. Like honestly. Uh, not just being cocky, uh, me just being number one. I feel like we already had the best team in the league. We just needed to put these pieces together. And I'm not saying that our pieces are together right now, but oh, best believe everybody see what we got coming. Everybody see what we got. We come to work every day. Uh, man, that O-line, um, coming from where they started at, man, that offense with Corey, Corey doing his thing, getting the team together. Uh, Ronell Crew leading, you know, leading the receivers, jaw and pain with the experience. Um, man, it just been it just been a blessing, honestly. Yeah, and I think you guys are right on the money as far as the belief in yourself, and that's uh, number one when it comes to this phase of the game. You guys are over the midway point of the season, shortened season, only 10 games, so every win really does count. And right now, you guys are kind of on that bubble. Uh, Salina, I don't know what's going on in Salina, but they are just winning everything and overcoming everything thrown at them right now. But 
seeds two, three, and four for the postseason still very much up for grabs. So let's talk about it. You guys will play Dodge City and your first meeting, uh, 43-34. It was a loss back in week six, but short-term memory, it's 0-0 going from one game to another. How do you feel about this upcoming matchup? First, I'm going to say shout out to Salina. Yeah, I give them their props coming in the league, you know, handling business. But best believe we coming for them. Um, and now to, uh, you know, what you just finished talking about, um, that's the plan. Uh, the plan is to secure that number one, I mean, secure that number two seed. Like, you had confidence saying Salina was number one. Uh, after Sunday, you will have the confidence saying that Wichita Force fought through adversity and held that second, you know, and fought for that number two seed. What makes you guys so dangerous? Our will, uh, our dedication, um, the energy that we have. Uh, when Wichita Force arrives at any stadium, people talking. It's either good or bad. And at first, it was all bad. And we, you know, we was taking that. We was dealing with that. And now that the table turned, a whole lot of things is a whole lot of things is different now. And like I said, again, I'm going to give a shout out to the offense. Our offense, our offense, get it done. I am a leader. I do the same energy I have at, I have during the game is the same energy I have at practice. Me and Corey, me and Corey, we hate each other at practice. Cause I give him, I give him, I give him hell all the time. We know where we belong and we know what we can do. It's just a whole bunch of underdogs on one team. Looking to return the favor in Dodge City. So last question for you is what's it going to take to beat them? Discipline. I tell you that right now. I'm going to say that first because everybody know that we we overdo it sometimes. You know, what you thought for us, we do. And now that the coaches are, you know, putting their foot down about those penalties and about those stupid mistakes that we're doing, um, man, it's not about them, honestly. It's really, it's really about us because we only can beat ourselves. Well, you guys are two in a row right now, looking to make it three. And I think the only other team that's done three in a row is Salina, and they've done that twice now. And as you said, you're coming for them. So a little extra motivation there for you. But hey, man, I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate you for having me. I'll be absolutely looking forward to seeing you again. He is once again the defensive back and team captain for the Wichita Force, who are red hot right now. Give it up for Juwan Juju, the Osprey Osprey of Wichita Force, man. Good luck this weekend. Yes, sir. Thank you. And up next, representing the home team, he is the center for the Dodge City Law, hailing from SMU. It is Braylon Hyder. Welcome, Braylon. How are you? I'm great. How about yourself? Doing good, man. I love previewing the games of the week because so far they really have not disappointed. You guys in Wichita kind of a rivalry renewed. Tell me a little bit about that and how you feel about rivalry games overall and your excitement level going into this one. Wichita is definitely a rivalry game for us. Uh, They're right down the road. It's it's always a great game with these guys. Um, And when it comes to rivalries, I love them. Uh, We had the, when I went to SMU, our biggest rivalry was TCU, and that was the game that we were always pumped up for, ready to go out there and just ball out, you know. And I think that's one thing that we're going to go out here and uh, we're always going to come out there with a chip on our shoulder against Wichita. You guys are 2-2. Two and two. Wichita, 2-3, two and three, though. They've rattled off two wins in a row as far as in-league opponents go. And uh, the last time you guys met was week six, and you're coming fresh off a of bye week. They're coming fresh off a couple of wins. You guys got that W. I think final score was 43 to 34. And uh, you guys did not have the best game against Salina, though, going into the bye. How was your bye week, and how did you guys use that time? Uh, I think our bye, uh, our bye week was uh, great. Uh, I think so. What we did was our coach told us to go enjoy family, go home, and, like, just kind of rest and relaxation, kind of get away from it, uh, clear our heads from it, because, you know, this is a a huge part of our lives. And uh, so I think it was really good. I think all of us got to go home and uh, relax. So I I think it was going to be – I think it's great. For you guys, when it comes to playing at this level, you will see the same opponent several times. It could be two, three, maybe even four in the world of indoor football. And so since you guys have already played Wichita once, you got that win. How much, if anything, from the last game, since that was a few weeks ago, can you use as you know motivation, inspiration uh, going into this next one? 
Well, I, I think the biggest thing that we can take from it is that we know that we can beat these guys. And um, as far as what we can use, I mean, I think we can use a lot from uh, what we did before. And But I think the biggest thing is understanding that they are going to make adjustments, and so are we. We're going to go out there and do some things different and see how it uh, affects them and go from there. One game at a time, and of course a lot elsewhere would have to happen as well because there's a few tiebreakers to consider. Some other teams' wins or losses could factor into that. But you guys just need to go out there and take care of yourselves, which I'm sure you're very well aware of. So final question for you. Big matchup this weekend. You guys are at home. You're going to be fresh. You're going to be ready. But what will it take to beat a hot Wichita Force team? Oh, I think the biggest thing is to just cut down on mistakes, penalties, uh, busted plays, busted coverages. We just all need to focus on fine tuning um, the little things, making sure that we know where we need to be, when we need to be there and just make sure that we cut down on just just mistakes. How good is your quarterback center exchange game at this point? Oh, I think it's, I think it's pretty good. Uh, Last week he, uh, he got to play with our other center and, um, but I think it's pretty good. Me and Ray, we got a little bit of chemistry, you know, and, then with uh, J-Lo coming in as well, j a great guy. He's out there slinging the rock pretty well. So uh, I think it's pretty good. We're doing great over here. Excellent. I love the confidence. Well, hey, I want to thank you so much again for your time, Braylon. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate you. All right. Once again, folks, he is the center for the Dodge City Law, and they will host the Wichita Force this Sunday to see who will get another one in the win column. Will it be Dodge City two in a row, or will Wichita get the better of them? You'll just have to tune in and find out. Braylon, best of luck to you guys this weekend. And one more big thank you to Juwan and Braylon for joining me on this edition of the Game of the Week preview for Inside the CIF. Don't forget there is another matchup Saturday, May 22nd, as the Wyoming Mustangs will make their first trip to the Slaughterhouse to take on the Omaha Beef. Kickoff for that is at 6.30 p.m. Then Sunday, the 23rd, we have your Game of the Week, Wichita Force, Dodge City Law, in-state rivalry kickoff is at 3 p.m., If you cannot attend either of these games, make sure that you tune in live on the CIF Network channel on YouTube.com. Who will be the game of the week for week number 10 of the 2021 season? You'll just have to tune in next week and find out. Until then, I'm Richard Tiemann, and this is Inside the CIF. (laughs) 